hello and welcome to bullish bear fx today in this video i'll be teaching you how to identify major support and resistance zones and how you can utilize it in making your analysis and taking your trades we all understand that when it comes to support and resistance it's very important because you just cannot exempt it from your analysis in the market why because support and resistance has a major role that they play in the market move as we all know that the market itself always move in waves creating higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and that is for an uptrending market and in like manner we also know that the pra that market creates what we call lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs when it comes to a downtrending market so why the market creates this kind of waves what you want to do as a forex trader is to analyze the market simply by figuring out the highs and the lows of the market and mapping out your support and your resistant zones but while making your analysis you would notice that if you want to draw out lines in order to spot out all the waves the market created while on the move you would notice that you would end up drawing so much lines on your chart and at the end of the day if you have so much lines on your chart you would likely get confused not knowing where to sell from or even where to buy from and this is the reason why you want to be a trader who knows how to identify the major support and the major resistance zones in the market so that you would have a cleaner and a clearer chart and you would be able to take what we call long-term trades so in this video today i'll be showing you how to spot out those kind of zones in order for you to be able to identify major supports major resistance and be able to take even long time trades as a smart trader but before we proceed if this is your first time on my channel could you do me a little favor smash the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so that you'll be the first to get notified in my next video you know what because right here in this channel all I do is to post price action content that helps you win in the financial markets. So hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on. Great. So let's get started. So one way that I easily identify major supports and major resistance zones in the market is to focus more on those areas that played a major role in the market. Major role in the market in the sense that if you observe, we have so many edges. We have so many supports, so many resistant edges. We have a lot of them. But now, for me to identify the areas that played a major role, I want to only identify those zones that push the market really high or deeply low. Really high for support or deeply low for resistance. And when I identify them, then I want to take advantage of them. Now, let me show you how to identify them. Now, if we observe from here to here, we get a notice that the market moved bullishly. And that was as a, as a result of the support line we have here. Now, we get to see that from here, it pushed a little. And from here, it pushed massively to the top. So, while pushing massively to the top, the bears pushed down. The bulls pushed just a little. The bears pushed and rejected even the move of the bulls. They rejected and even broke through. And then the, the bulls took advantage again and pushed massively. Now, if I want to identify major supports and major resistance zones between here and here, what I'm going to do is to, ident is to plot out my support and resistance like this. One, two and three so between here to here i could identify one major zone one major support that pushed the market very high and another major support that pushed the market very high then i could identify one major resistance that pushed market really low take note that while making your analysis especially plotting your supports and your resistance you want to do this mainly from the four hour or the one hour 
at most even if you have any other reason to plot out another support and resistance then that should be lastly at 30 minutes but from 15 minutes and downward should be you looking forward to taking trades you do not want to plot out supports and resistance on lower time frame else if you already have a little zones like this if you have a small space like this you wouldn't be able to create a larger space for for monitoring your trade but if you can do this but if you plot out your support and resistance from your higher time frame even if you have this small space on a one hour time frame by the time you head straight to 15 minute time frame this little space would be wider like this and you would be able to have a bigger and clearer chart to wait and take your trades if you really understood what i just said could you please smash the like button and leave a comment and let me know that you really understood this and that you also like it by hitting the like button so let's get back to business so right now i have identified the first three zones that i could identify first measure zones that does not mean that this little zone i have here this little zone i have here and even this one that does not mean that they cannot hold trades in the future but the only thing is that i have identified measure supports so what i would likely do is to take this ones as zones in other words i might likely have to mark out my rectangle zone for the future through this ones if you want to understand more about zones you want to check out my previous videos i have taught about zones and indeed i will still teach more especially after teaching you all support and resistance then i will likely teach you how to apply support and resistance together with your zones so that you can understand it better how to use the both of them on your analysis and if you want to make sure you don't miss that video hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on okay let us draw out another major support and resistance now looking at this i can see how the bears pushed massively to the downside and the bull strider reject just a little and the best even pushed again that simply means that here is a very good measure resistance zone so what i would do is to map out that zone all right now we could see how the bulls massively pushed all the way back up when it got here but already we could see that i already have this major support here so that does not mean that i have to draw out another line here because i already have one line close to it now but what did you notice you would notice that when the the bears pushed down just a little and it was a bit close to the support line before the bulls pushed back up so what do i do at this scenario that means there should have been a zone here because if i have my zone mapped out here with my rectangle that simply means that this trade i would have actually taken it and made a bullish profit why because when you map out your rectangle zone your rectangle zone would show you that you have something like this watch this for those of you who have learned how to use your rectangle which i've taught you in my previous video you would understand what i meant by this but don't worry i'll talk more about how to apply your zones together with your support and resistance in more subsequent videos to come and that is why you want to smash the like button hit the subscribe button turn the notification bell on now let's proceed so the bulls pushed massively the bears rejected again and it was a strong rejection so now you want to map out another support here okay fortune ahead the bulls pushed mass mass the bulls pushed massively the bears rejected and the bulls pushed again so already we have a support here that does not mean that we have to draw another line here because we have a major support instead what we're going to use here is our zone okay so now that we have been able to identify our major zones our major supports and major resistances now what if we if we had done this on the one hour time frame by the time we head to the 15 minute time frame which is a time frame that we would love to wait for price to come to us so we can place a trade so if we had done this on the one hour time frame 
by the time we decide to head straight to 15 minute time frame in order to wait for price to come to us so we can take a trade if we head to 15 minute time frame you would notice that the chart would be like this why because the chart will be much more bigger and bolder for us to easily place trades therefore we wouldn't have a jam-packed chart like this but our chart would be like this so that is why it's important when drawing your support and resistance you want to start from the higher time frame so now what we want to do is to wait for price to get to our support or resistance and we place trades so it now now the next thing you want to ask yourself is what is the bias of the markets so if it's a bullish market you only want to look for bullish trades so at this time i would wait for price to play its game while price is coming gradually i can decide to place a buy from here knowing that this area was already a strong support zone in the past and once i place my trade it could go my way and even if it doesn't go then i already have an idea of the next place i want to place a trade which is what here whenever price gets here i will place a, i will place a trade for a bullish move and that's just how to identify so major supports and major resistance zones so on my next video we'll be making few examples on the main charts if you really love this video could you do me a little favor smash the like button hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you'll be the first to get notified when i release the next video for the meantime make sure you stay safe and keep winning